Uh, we continue learning Dear Shu Mishnah Bura, another Simin in Hilchais Natila Yadayim, Simin Kof Samoch Dalid, in which the Machaber coins Din Shiach Lahasnois Alat Natila. An interesting and fascinating idea called making a Tenai on Natila Yadayim. Says the Machaber Noitel Adam Yod of Shachras, one can wash his hand in the morning. Umas Nalayim and stipulate as follows. The entire day, even not in a time of need. But provided, as we turn over the page, provided, so as we're realizing very quickly, the issue is not going to be with the halachic tonight. That works. The issue is going to be that one cannot be my siach das, one cannot stop thinking about his hands for a moment, and not dirty his hands. But let's say he does that, and let's say he makes sure his hands are clean, but then he has water. Says the Machaber, Toiv, it is God, she asks of Yitzhak Yadav, wash your hands again, but do not make a new bracha. Says the Ramav Hadamani tonight, what does this work? Daf, Koben, Etil, Shein, Tzarech. Says so only for Natila is not necessary. excuse me. To the Natila's shachris. For example, you wake up in the morning, you wash your hands. Not for bread. Aval im Natila tzerich achila. Loy mahani tonight, boys. And Natila such a Natila tonight does not work. So says the Bachaber Sifkat and Aleph. What is this tonight? Excuse me. Says the Mishtabura Mas Naalei and Bibhiv. You have to say this verbally. Oyel kapan shechava bliv v'chayal loy Natila. Or at the least. He should be machavein in his heart. Sheyale loy netila zu that this netila this washing should work for him. It should work for him for all that which he eats the entire day. Again, one more time, he should have a mind in his heart, or at least that this sheyale netila zu lechol achilas sheich bechol ayim. To work the whole day. But certainly, Zaris, be careful. Yeah, if you're going to make this tonight, now you have to be careful that the washing is a washing that can be used for bread. A cup. You actually pour it. Clean water. Water that wasn't used. As we have seen. Af. But it says the Mishnah Bura when it comes to washing your hands in the morning. Meaning from Tum of the night time. As we've seen many moons ago in Simon Talad. And those who are learning Kitzah Shulchan Aruch, as we're about to see again, we're not mocked on. Kivan. Zeakivan Shula Achila, shiny for Achila, those are all the Allahs. Some argue and say this is only going to work. You're going the road. You're afraid. You're not going to have any water. You're sitting in a caravan, a wagon. If you go off to wash your hands, they're not going to wait for you. That is Chashiv Shas Hadachak. Avshu Yedeh, even though you know Shish Mayim Baderach, there's going to be water, but they're not going to wait for you. That is the Shas Hadachak, Ahu He, Umahanik Shah the Shachas, Umasta, Mahanik Kaman Sev Sivka, then Dalid, Mashik Samdu, again, which we'll get to in a moment. But you have to be careful. What do you have to be careful? Says the Mishnah, you have to be careful. Shah Yasiyah Taitai explains the Mishnah Bura Sivka Tan Gimel. Mishmira as Yodav, from washing your hands, shall Yegum al Kaman tonight, because you don't touch anything dirty. The Ramah is explaining the Machaber. Even though your hands are clean, it's because still you need this tonight. That it should work for eating. Because you have to wash your hands specifically and particularly for eating. According to the Gimel. Then you can say this was the tonight helps to keep the chayyim who ain't a same chalal shmir also the tonight helps because normally you know you don't you're not cognizant and you're not going to actually be careful sham yishach v'lava daite like in kein hisne but if you were masne does not in lev lizar yais so two reasons that tonight works either because proactively it needs to be bekavana when you wash your hands or no practically you just have to make sure that you didn't actually 
that you wash your hands throughout the day. This means that you didn't get them dirty in a way that would possible. Even if you only touch covered places on your body, as we've seen. This would be the practical way to do this, right? After you wash your hands, you put your hands into gloves. My little work. Just you like a chashash as a chadas, no chashash anymore because you obviously didn't touch anything because you're wearing gloves. The bevada in the shvu yadav. Cause the shark nesek into the belly of rabba. Sheinu no, sheinu no, gam or shleil asles. We do not do this. Misham. Because no one can be that careful not to touch anything. Therefore, we don't make this tonight at all. It all has to do with the level of necessity. Says It could work. Put your hands in gloves. If you get water, then you should then you should wash your hands again. You have to go get the water. water is right by. So you should wash your hands again. But now, this, even though the Mishmur said, one could be Mekal, that's only according to the Mechaber. But the Ramah, let's remind yourself, came along the Ramah and he said, Vod mani tenai, is only nitila she'ei noi tzarech achila. But if it is a nitila tzarech achila, the Ramah was machmir. Explains the Mishmur of God and Vod, she'ei noi tzarech achila. Not necessarily in the morning when you get up, you can make it tonight. For example, you wash your hands when you left the bathroom. You can't wash so the Mishabura is paskining, excuse me, the Ramah is paskining, he's only in the Tila, She'enoi Tzarech Achila, that's when you could make this Tenai. But if he was in the Tila for food, then you cannot. Lo'i Mahani Tenai, he says the Mishabura is forgotten in Zayin, Ratzah Lo'imer. Says the Mishnah you wash your hands to eat, and you made it tonight. Do something else before you eat. Because you need to wash your hands and eat right away. And then so, this is the right way. Again, a moment ago we said that Miramah says it doesn't work for Achila. Now we know what that means according to Mishmur. It doesn't mean it doesn't work at all for Achila. It means that if the Logara Minotel Dover Acher, it's no worse. Keep it Achila Shniya ain't Achshav Zemano. It just means you should have a break between the Natila and the eating. So Lamaisa, we'll see the Dirashu Pais came in a moment, but the Allah Lamaisa is, this is not Lechatchila. But if one is in a Shaz Hadchak, he knows he's not going to have water, it would seem that there is a muck up to wash his hands and wear gloves for the entire time until he's going to end up eating the second eating, not in between washing and eating the first eating. What does it mean? Washing, watching, says the Chazinesh, you have to make sure, Yizkar, you have to be cognizant that you're not going to beat your hands. Tame. Um, not going to, oh, excuse me, not going to make your hands. Tame. Um, what's the reason that we're only makal B'Shaz Adchak, so Graz, the Balatani, explains the Dershanot number two. Shemak Shiru Shechal Balin Etili Yachshvul Nachri. 
why it's, it's all like a Maris Ayin type of thing. If someone sees you eating without washing your hands, are you going to think that you're a guy and, if you, and they're going to come to feed you something that is Osir? Um, uh, Chazanish says, what is the point? Right before you wash your hands is when you have to have this in mind. According to the ones you don't need a tea lot, it's going to be any time while your hands are wet. And... With that, we'll conclude. Um, just to see about gloves over here, the deer shoe adds on. Um, where is the deer shoe? I can't find it. Um, I can't find it. Ah, deer shoe, let's say note number nine over here. Here it is. Note number nine. Uh, first of all, let's just see number eight, a little bit unrelated regarding learning Torah. If you touch an area, you should be machmir to wash your hands. Regarding tavening, if you touch tit, says the Rav Yah, you should wash your hands, but the Rosh says the Yishai. And again, we're just showing that for tefillah and non-food purposes, it's a different dinim. Um, if one goes to sleep, that would be a good application if he's wearing gloves if he's wearing gloves, you don't need to wash your hands in the morning. This was a schmooze we learned back in Simon Dalad based on the two reasons for Natilas you die in the morning, which is similar to staying up all night. Uh, our Chashachat says it's a new day, so either way you have to wash your hands, even if you're not going to touch anywhere else. And finally, we'll conclude with Dershu note number 10, which discusses gloves. This is what we're looking for. This eights up. Sefer Machini Yisrael writes, that's a sefer that was written for the soldiers in the army. So we see from over here, a bit chiddish. Even your hands are covered, only make a chak, even though your hands cannot have become dirty. We see we're still only reliant on this whole idea of shazadchak. Why? Because we're afraid you might have not been thinking and took your hands out of the gloves. The kafachayim. Adds on, these Adam Ragulas is a bleak fafas, there's things you normally do without gloves. Therefore, we're afraid, and it's just basically it's very balabatish. It's true that if you wore the gloves the whole time, that would work, but we're afraid. You're not thinking, and you go and you take off your gloves, and you're going to come touch an area. We'll pick it up from Sif Bays the next year. Bisiyata Dishmaya.